Hey guys, I'm Misha Michelle. I'm one third of Karma, and today I bring to you a Halloween makeup tutorial for one of my favorite villains, Harley Quinn. And um, I hope you guys like it. So, if you like this look, before you go on, click that red button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up, and comment about what you think about this look. And if you want to know how I got this look, keep watching. Hi guys, so first we're gonna start off with a fresh clean face. Now taking my favorite moisturizer in Olay All Day Moisture, I'm gonna moisturize my entire face. Now I'm brushing out my brows and I'm gonna create the shape I like. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 20 and cleaning up my brows. And I'm taking a clean blending brush and blending it all the way down to my lids. Now I'm going to take my finger and blend that out. Now I'm going in with my NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation and I'm going to blend that all over my face with the blending brush. Make sure you blend down to your neck as always. Now I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend that all out and make sure I don't have any lines. Going back in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm going to highlight all of the areas of my T-zone. And blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and set that under my eye with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Now I'm going to set my entire face with my MAC Studio Fix. I think that's NC43. I'm going to contour my nose right now. Now I'm going to go back in with my Anastasia kit and I'm going to highlight with that banana powder around my nose. Just to snatch that nose in a little bit more. Now I'm going to go back in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and bronze my face up. Alright, now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take my eyeliner and just try to separate my eyes. Even though it's three dimensional, I'm trying to go right in where the pupil is and Separate it halfway. Now I'm going to take my Color Pop and Paradox and put that all throughout my transition area. Oops, forgot to put the tape on. Now I'm going to go back in on the inner corner of my eye and blend out the color by Bobbi Brown called Flame. It's actually a blush, but I'm gonna put pop that into the inner corner of my eye. Just placing it on, on the lid. Now I'm gonna take this Sephora Black Shadow and place that on the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but on the opposite ends, on the bottom half of my eye. Peeling that tape back, use a little too much tape. Placing a little bit more black, 
And now I'm taking a blending brush, clean blending brush, and just diffusing that and making it blend more with that Paradox color. I'm gonna do the same thing as well on the bottom half of my eye, blending that red down to diffuse it more onto my high cheekbone. Now taking my eyeliner, I'm gonna stretch the line out a little bit more. and popping those dots onto the ends. Glitter, yay! Place that glitter on my lid to make this look more glamorous. Placing that glitter on my bottom half as well and peeling off that tape. Drawing some more lines to make it look more jokerish. And I'm gonna draw another line up there by my wing area, as if I was drawing out a long wing. Placing dots on the ends of those as well. Placing two smaller lines on the inner corner of my eye. Now moving on to the lashes, I'm gonna use the Salon Perfect Lashes, but before I do that, I'm gonna put some black liner on my waterline on bottom. And I'm taking my Benefit Bare Real Mascara and just popping that onto my lashes so no shadow will show up. I'm gonna place those lashes on my lashes pinching that to get them as close as I can. I actually went back in and placed some Eyelore Lux lashes and I doubled up on the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Stella Red Matte Lip Color and place that onto my natural lips. Just getting that even on my lips. Now I'm gonna overline and create more of a smile type of look onto my face. Cause next we're gonna take a black liner and kind of make it look like a little evil smile since Harley Quinn is a villain. Taking a darker liner with the burner to darken that line up a little bit. Now we're gonna diffuse that into the red to make it have more of an ombre effect. I'm actually gonna take a deeper red and diffuse that into that red. Taking some more of that black liner. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know we left you guys all in suspense of wondering what we're going to be for Halloween, but we all are going to be Harley Quinn. So keep a lookout on our Instagram for those pictures and comment below. Let us know what you think about this look. And if you decide to do a Harley Quinn or a Joker look for this Halloween, please, please, please tag us to it so we can see it and hopefully we inspired you. 
Thank you guys so much. Peace. <laughs>